Here we're going to be looking at an example of a squamous cell carcinoma of the skin. And at low power, this is some normal skin for you to look at. You can see the dermis below, a little bit of chronic inflammation below the basal layer, which is nicely organized in this uh, purple line that you can see here. And uh, there's a little bit of uh, what we would call parabasal cell expansion, because normally those cells are about three cell layers thick. But in this case, you can see that there's a, a few more in some areas. It's not bad, um, but that's actually probably related to the processes going on. And as the keratinocytes move upwards, their nuclei shrink, and the cytoplasm becomes kind of pink and more abundant, and this is what we would call maturation. And so this is normal maturation or differentiation. Uh, you can see a little blue ink that we use to mark the edge of the specimen, because that's where we are. And then if you move towards the tumor, uh, what you'll see is a little bit of uh, atypia. And so this is actually vulvar skin, so this is what we would call dysplasia, but uh, actinic change is similar to that in uh, non-mucosal skin. So, you know, if you had a squamous cell on your arm, you might see actinic change in relation to the uh, sun exposure or other things that could be happening. Um, as we move closer to the tumor, one of the defining characteristics of a squamous cell carcinoma is that it breaks through the basement membranes and the cells become invasive into the dermis. Now in this case it's actually pretty hard to see, uh, but what we have are small little nests of malignant cells that are breaking off of the epidermis above and invading into the dermis below. And this is actually a little bit easier to see at low power. And so you can see that even though the dermis is pretty inflamed here, there are little tongues of squamous epithelium that push down into it. And these are regular tongues with abnormal keratinization, which you can see here is a little keratin pearl. Uh, here's another keratin pearl. Um, are seen in invasive processes. You can see keratin pearls uh, without invasion, but that's pretty uncommon. And if we come along here to this deep spot, you can actually see a nice keratin pearl here. And so these cells are all invading into the dermis and the inflammation is reacting to that. Uh, think of it as the body kind of fighting back here's just some of the more deep invasion. So one of the things that the pathologist would do would be to measure the depth of invasion and tell how far it is from any of the margins. So this is a case of squamous cell carcinoma invading into the dermis uh, in some vulvar skin.